Hi, story timers. It's Gita here at Barkman, and we're doing another fun story time today. We're going to read about shapes. Can you see all these great shapes behind me? And they're in wonderful colors too. We're going to read about some of those today. So our first book is Duck Rabbit by Amy Krauss Rosenthal and Tom Lichtenheld. So we're going to read about this interesting shape. Do you guys see a duck or do you see a rabbit? Could it be both? Here's the ears if you see a rabbit. Or it could be the bill if it's a duck. So let's find out. Duck, rabbit. Hey, look, a duck. That's not a duck, that's a rabbit. You can see him here, but he could be both. Are you kidding me? It's totally a duck. It's for sure a rabbit. What color is he? got some interesting color right in here. I think that might be white. See, there's his bill. What are you talking about? Those are ears, silly. You can see both sometimes too. It's a duck and he's about to eat a piece of bread. That looks like a yummy piece of bread right there. A snack. It's a rabbit and he's about to eat a carrot. There he is with his carrot. What colors are carrots? What color is that? I think that looks like a very orange carrot. Wait, listen, did you hear that? I heard duck sounds, quack, quack. That's funny, I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. Sniff, sniff, it all depends. Now the duck is wading through the swamp. No, the rabbit is hiding in the grass. That's some pretty green grass there. See, there, it's flying. Flying, it's hopping. There he goes. And we got some houses here. So he could be flying above the houses or hopping really high up. Look, the duck is so hot, he's getting a drink. No, the rabbit is so hot, he's cooling off his ears. There's that sun up there, bright yellow. There's a fish, we've got a fish friend. Hey, here, look at the duck through my binoculars. Sorry, still a rabbit. You can still see both even if you can't see all of his ears or his bill. Here, ducky ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Oh great, you scared him away. I didn't scare him away, you scared him away. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe it was a rabbit. Thing is, now I'm actually thinking it was a duck. So if you saw a rabbit, maybe you saw him like this, or these were his ears, and that was his body. Maybe you saw him as a duck and you saw his great bill ready to eat some tasty bread. Well, anyways, now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, look, an anteater. That's no anteater. That's a brachiosaurus. So what do you guys see? Do you see an anteater and that's his snout and he's eating some ants and that's his tail? Or could it be a dinosaur with his long neck and his tail? Who knows? The end. All right. That was a fun story about how different shapes can look different to different people. So now we're going to read about the shape of a square, not a box by Antoinette Portis. That looks like a box to me. That could be a box, but let's see. Not a box. Two children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. That was one of my favorite things to do is play in cardboard boxes because they could be anything. Or why are you sitting in a box? What animal do we have there? Who could that be? I think we just talked about him in the last book. That could be a bunny rabbit. But this one looks like a real bunny rabbit for real. I don't think he could be a duck. It's not a box. Wow. Guys, that cardboard box has turned into a racing car. It looks really fast too. What are you doing on top of that box? 
I'm gonna write on that box over there. What could he be doing? It's not a box. He is on Rabbit Peak. And he has claimed Rabbit Peak is his own, like his own Rabbit Peak flag. Why are you squirting a box? What is he doing there? That was a little silly. I said it's not a box. He is a brave firefighter and he's putting out a box fire. Saving that wonderful apartment building. Now you're wearing a box? It looks a little bit silly. Can you see his ears? Do we see where his little ears are and his little hands? His little paws? Right here. Those are his ears and his little paws and some feet. This is not a box. He's a robot now. He's in his robot suit. Very cool. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Could be anything. It looks like he's flying in a balloon. He's on a pirate ship. He's riding on top of an elephant. He's on a boat. Boxes really could be anything. Well, what is it then? He's got his own window here now, too. Thinking about it, what could this box be? It's my not a box. And off to space he goes. There he goes. To plan it. The end. That was fun. See, boxes could be anything and shapes could be anything too. So today for our toddler craft kit, you can pick up how to make geometric shapes in our wonderful sand dough. And this is easy to mix up here at home. And then for our craft, we have shape pizzas. So everything is included in here for you to make a cool shape pizza. And you can practice over and over again on your different shapes and how many are on your paper plate pizza. So that is always fun. If you would like a toddler craft kit, please give us a call here at Barkman at 719-562-5680 and say, hey, I would love a toddler craft kit. And you can pick up one for the rest of October. We'll have those ready probably in about a week here. Um, you can pick up ones for all of August. All of June, July, September, we got a whole bunch here. So just give us a call and you can pick those up for free. So have a wonderful week. Next week we'll be learning about clothes. Maybe you can wear your favorite hat to story time. We can see those cool hats here. And I think I'll try and find a cool hat too. Does that sound good? All right. So you guys have a wonderful week and we will see you later. Bye.